So, what are the top 25 best Green Day songs? Billy Joel Armstrong, Mike Dirnt, and Trey Cool, who replaced John Kiffmeyer in 1990, make up the group. Started in 1985, Green Day was part of the punk scene in Berkeley, California. Since then, the band produced more than 12 studio albums, a plethora of chart-topping hits, and garnered numerous awards. However, what makes a song a standout hit? Many of the greatest songs have the most intriguing backstory, and many tracks from Green Day are full of messages that fans relate to. Great songs also leave a lasting impression and bring a new perspective to a situation. The good news is that many songs from Green Day fall into those categories. The bad news is that this makes the selection process that much harder. Thankfully, we've come up with a fairly decent list, so you don't have to do all the work. So, without further ado, I'm Mike with List 25, and we present the top 25 best Green Day songs you'll probably fall in love with, and add to your playlist. Brought to you by Raycon Wireless Earbuds. Stay tuned after the end of the list to find out how to get 15% off your order. Twenty-five. Boulevard of Broken Dreams is possibly one of Green Day's most popular songs. It was released on the American Idiot album nearly 16 years ago. Oh boy, do I feel old. And it's still widely played on radio stations to this day. The song is about feeling alone after getting your hopes and dreams crushed. 24. Wake Me Up When September Ends is the kind of song that tugs on your heartstrings, no matter what mood you're in. You can hear the pain in Armstrong's voice as he sings, Like my father's come to pass, seven years has gone so fast, wake me up when September ends. The song is about the death of Armstrong's father, and despite him being gone for 20 plus years, he still feels the pain. 23. Give Me Novocaine starts off at a slower tempo, but quickly gets into that Green Day rock and roll that everyone loves. The song is featured on the American Idiot album. Give Me Novocaine is about feeling down and wanting drugs to numb the unwanted pain. 22. King for a Day is a fun, upbeat song that features some awesome trumpet playing on the Nimrod album. Many fans believe the song is about a young boy that enjoys cross-dressing in his mother's clothes. However, other fans think it's more about being comfortable with your sexuality. 21. Pulling Teeth, featured on the 1994 Dookie album, is rumored to have a few different meanings. The most popular idea is that Armstrong wrote it based on an inside joke between the band and their bassist Mike Durnt. The story revolves around a pillow fight between Durnt and his girlfriend that ends with him going to the emergency room. 20. The Forgotten is featured on Green Day's 11th studio album, Trey. The song was also part of the Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2 soundtrack. It was released on November 13th, 2012, and was placed under the alternative rock slash piano rock genre. Many fans have different interpretations of the song, but the most popular is the fear of being forgotten. 19. Oh Love is one of Green Day's newer singles. The song is featured on their ninth studio album, Uno, which was released in 2012. Armstrong told Rolling Stone that the album is more like a power pop to get you in the mood to party. 18. Similar to that of Jesus of Suburbia, St. Jimmy is another one of Green Day's characters they created to help tell their story. St. Jimmy is about a guy who's heavily involved in sex, drugs, and criminal activity. The song is formed like a diary entry which helped to grasp the heart of fans all over the world. 17. Green Day's Last of the American Girls can be found on their 21st Century Breakdown album. The song symbolizes strength and finding beauty in some of the ugliest places. It's sort of like about an empowering, sort of subterranean kind of lifestyle, but at the same time, there's a new era coming in with the way we all need to live, like living in a disposable society or something like that, but actually living off garbage and finding beauty in it in some way.
said Armstrong. 16. We've all felt the essence of the Green Day song, Waiting. The song is about wanting something for a very long time, and once you finally get it, you realize it wasn't worth the wait. It was released in 2000 on the band's sixth studio album, Warning. 15. Another fan favorite song from the Insomniac album is Stuck With Me. It's the third track and the second single from Green Day's fourth album. Upon its release, fans quickly became attached to the song. Many people said they can relate to it because it's about overcoming society's class system and people who think they're better than you. 14. Walking Contradiction was released on the Insomniac album on October 10th, 1995. It's the 14th track and their fourth and final single for that album. The song is about negative feelings towards people who contradict themselves. A great example is parents who set high standards for their children, but can't follow the rules themselves. 13. Nice Guys Finish Last is the opening track for Green Day's fifth album, Nimrod. It was released in 1997, and the song quickly became a fan favorite. Nice Guys Finish Last is an anthem for people who feel like no matter how much they do for their loved ones, they always end up finishing last. 12. The popular Green Day song, She, is featured on the Dookie album, which was released in 1994. The song was inspired by Adrian Nasser, who is the former wife of Armstrong. The couple met at a Green Day concert around 1990 and got married four years later. The song is about a girl who is tired of everyone telling her what to do with her life and just wants to do things her way. 11. Minority is Green Day's first single on their Warning album. It was released in 2000 and it quickly became a fan favorite. Minority stayed at number one in the US modern rock chart for five weeks. The song is about following your own heart and doing what you think is right, regardless of the views of others. 10. 21 Guns was released in 2009 on their eighth album called 21st Century Breakdown. The song represents patriotism and the 21 Gun salute that's normally done for fallen military members. The song also symbolizes accepting the end of something great. 9. Green Day showed their view in politics with their American Idiot album, which was released in 2004. The hit song, Holiday, has a spoken word section that accuses the president at the time, George W. Bush, of being a fascist. Armstrong insists that the song is not anti-American, but more so anti-war. The song quickly became popular, and it hit number one on the hot mainstream rock tracks. 8. Many people have experienced moments in their life where they thought they were going crazy. Green Day's Basket Case symbolizes Armstrong's struggle with his anxiety and panic disorders. After the song was released in 1994, it spent five weeks at the top of the Modern Rock Tracks chart. The only way I knew how to deal with it all was to write a song about it, said Armstrong. 7. Jesus of Suburbia was released on the American Idiot album on October 25th, 2005. The nine minute long song had to be cut down to six and a half in order to be played on the radio. The song was immediately loved by fans and it quickly became the American Idiot Anthem. Six. Some of the best things in life are simplistic. Brain Stew was released on the Insomniac album in 1996. The song is mostly made up of five power chords and bass notes. Brain Stew has become known as one of the biggest 90s rock hits. It can still be heard on rock radio stations to this day. 5. Green Day released their Warning album in 2000. Their song Macy's Day Parade quickly captured fans with its flowy, uncomplicated calmness. It symbolizes growing up and the difficulty in making all the right choices. It's sort of about the lies and deceptions that you have growing up and how you have to find your own way around, says Armstrong. 4. Good Riddance, Time of Your Life, is another song that proves that Green Day's sound can pivot in many different directions. 
Lead singer Billy Joe Armstrong originally wrote the piece back in 1994, but waited three years to release it. The mellow song features a section of orchestral strings and an acoustic guitar. 3. Fans may have been taken back when they heard the first five seconds of Hitch and a Ride. The few moments of a classical cello being played quickly transitions into a more rockier, upbeat tempo. The song proved that Green Day can be more musically varied than many people may have previously thought. 2. When I Come Around is another hit song from the Dookie album. It peaked at number 10 on the Billboard Hot 100 Airplay in 1994. Almost 25 years later, the song can still be heard on some alternative rock radio stations. 1. Longview is the band's lead single for their third album, Dookie. It was released on February 1st, 1994. Longview was also Green Day's first song to hit number one on the modern rock charts. The hit song grabbed the attention of teenagers all over the country, because it describes intense boredom from sitting in the house all day with no motivation and allusions to masturbation. So, what are your favorite Green Day songs? Let us know in the comments below, or tweet your answer to us at List25. And speaking of music, as I said in the intro, this video was brought to you by Raycon Wireless Earbuds. The company was co-founded by Ray J, and celebrities like Snoop Dogg are obsessed with them. Raycon offers their wireless earphones in a range of fun colors and patterns. They're super comfortable and come with a variety of fit options. Unlike some of your other wireless options, Raycon earbuds are both stylish and discreet with no dangling wires or stems, which is actually my favorite thing about them because when I'm looking for wireless headphones, if there's still a wire connecting them, that's not wireless. These are true wireless. And there's no funny stem that hangs down looking at you. You know who you are. So, Raycon earbuds start at about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market. They sound just as amazing as the other top audio brands you know. The E25 True wireless earbuds is their best one yet, with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design that gives you a nice, noise-isolating fit. And like I mentioned before, it also comes in new, fun colorways. Make sure you click on the link in the description below to get 15% off your order. Okay, can I just say something crazy? Oh, crazy. All my life has been a series of doors in my face. And then suddenly I bump into you. I was thinking the same thing. Cause like, I've been searching my whole life to find my own place. And maybe it's the party talking or the chocolate fondue. But with you, I find my blessier face. And it's nothing like I've ever known before. Love is an open door. Love is an open door. Love is an open door with you, with you, with you, with you. Love is an open door. door. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.